hello there, Aronar here, and today we are going to review Pionians. Since the rework this faction has much better units and they are going to be very fair and balanced. And let's start with the hero. The hero is more defensive one with spear. He got abilities to reduce an enemy defense. He can go fully berserk or scare somebody away and boost his armor piercing damage. So uh, let's have a look on his infantry. So like I like Trace, we have Woodsmen which are perfect chargers especially in early game because of the furious charge enemy will drop their defense very quickly. I recommend hiring this in early game. Next Thracian unit we have is uh, Mountaineers. These have Strider which means they are not going to be slowed by any terrain. So they can go through mud and everything with full speed. Decent chargers. I would rather use Woodsman because of the Access! Furious Charge instead. And Access! oh, these guys have a little more HP so you can consider which of these two or maybe both to use them. Next another standard unit is Plainsman. These guys have one javelin, shield and decent stats. They are quite decent. Finally we got some unique units. Uh, Pionian tribesmen have flanking defense improved, uh, which is quite early, <coughs> but their stats and weapon is adjusted for this. So if your battles are going to be messy, then these guys are going to hold and do better. Next we have our another chargers, uh, Pionian spear fighters. These guys are mostly good against uh, larger units and uh, they are able to charge well. And to make a difference between other two chargers is their speed. And I will tell you right now, this faction has spears and maybe some horses. So every unit is on is a spear unit. Now we got the standard forest skirmishers from Trace. They also have Strider, quite okay javelins in early game. These guys are dealing more damage than the other light skirmishers, for example. For a specific unit we got Hunters instead of Bowmen. Uh, these guys are having ok good damage. They are keeping their stamina so they are going to be uh, running around and shooting arrows with better precision. And that's, that this small detail makes them slightly better than other standard archers in early game. Now let's move to the mid game. Spears! We got standard uh, Thracian spearmen. Uh, they are underperforming when compared to other mid tier spears. So I do not recommend these guys. Instead, for frontline, I highly recommend the Pionian spearmen instead because they are immune to flanking. This is one of the very first units and the earliest units that can have immune to flanking. And boy, it's so good. Uh, it makes them hold for long and this makes big difference. Maybe in dueling they are not so great, but in big numbers these guys are very very good. And we got some good chargers for flanking. They have bonus versus swords. They are going to melt enemies on charge. They are pretty offensive good. 
uh, despite being me medium, they are quite fast. So I would bring these as well. Oh, for the chariots. Uh, we have, just like Trace, we have chariots with Strider. This means that I can send them into the forest and they will have their speed, um, charge, attack, defense, everything uh, without any deep buffs. They will have full combat potential. You can see that, yeah, they should be receiving penalties because the forest and scrubs. Uh, let's, let's have a closer look. You can clearly see them in the forest. You can see that every other unit in forest would... Oh, come on. Why is it in the back there right now? Ah, what if? Never mind. Never mind, let's continue. So. Okay, so we got the Panion and Archer Chariots. Uh, these guys are a new unit, unique. You got archers uh, for a lot of skirmishing. Mm. They can, they have very low reload time. That's why their missile damage looks amazing. Their missile output is good. It's pretty good, I would say. And what else? For charging to the bags, you are going to use um, the light chariots or melee chariots instead. Now, late game units. What we have here is companions of Asteropios. These are immune to flanking. Yeah, it will be very good in battles, especially in messy battles. On top of that, they are able to hold for even longer. They are going to have more defense. They, they got good weapon, bonuses versus everybody. They are going to do fine. For uh, flankers, we got even more charge, more attack. These guys are your heavy shock chargers with bonus against large. I believe this faction uh, sh is very good in mythos and mythos battles because you got a lot of bonuses versus large and these guys can deal with such mythical beasts quite quickly. Next we have the Forest Ambushers. This is also standard uh, javelin unit from Trace. Quite good uh, javelins, pretty good damage. Uh, you get them uh, in tier 4 in campaign. So that might be a little bit late. But still, it's uh, very good for melting armored units. And similarly, in uh, tier 4, you got the Pionian Archers. They are also going to last longer because of the strong vigor. They have decent standard good range and missile damage. Pretty good archers, so to speak. And elite upgrade, Pionian renowned archers. They are so heavy, they can stop enemy chariot. These long-range archers are good. Uh, you can, uh, you don't need to protect them from chariots. Well, maybe yes, but they can stop them, or maybe deal a lot of damage before they get, catch them. Speaking about chariots, Pionian war chariots uh, have a lot of HP and very good stats. They are very comparable to the heavy chariots. Despite being medium, they can deal with medium units easily. So, with, this is very good charger unit. And finally, yes, we got some cavalry here. Cavalry with good spears, good charging, and yes, 
cavalry is about flanking. You will be flanking with these guys. This is not your shock cavalry, uh, but your flanking cavalry. Your front line is having immunity to the flanking, so you can apply some flanking on your own. So, to show you how to use this roster, you can bring a lot of uh, frontline spears. I would bring even the lower tier spears. Uh, I would have these chargers going together with chariots, maybe with cavalry. Uh, skirmishing is up to you. Our heavy archers are going to do fine behind behind our front line. You can really rely on the companions of Asterpios. They are they are very good. Um, and the cavalry, you need to be mobile and precise. You cannot uh, you cannot have them in battle for too long. These are performing. Yeah, they are performing very well. Hammer and Anvil, very nice. So, you can do standard uh, tactics with these guys. You got very good chariots in the forest. Yeah, chariots with strider. Always use chariots in uh, with strider in your early and mid game. This is so awesome unit. It's, it's a flanker, you need to attack from the rear. Not from the front. You, this is not a solo charger. Yeah, I, I believe you will have fun with this faction. Just, uh, it's like Trace, but with good, reliable front line. Trace is more about yellow charging. You don't have to yellow charge. You can play it more safely, and yes, you got some good cavalry here. That's very good. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's all and see you later.